The government must be having a great old laugh in the doll. You see, CEPO, Standards in Public Office, are about to investigate the leaks Leo Varadkar made to the NAGP. So, who do they appoint to the board of CEPO to investigate the NAGP? An ex-NAGP lobbyist. So they put someone from the NAGP on the board of CEPO to investigate the NAGP. <laughs> Ex-Fianna Fáil Senator Geraldine Feeney will be appointed to the board of CEPO, which will be soon investigating Leo Varadkar's leak to his mate Matt O'Toole, who was the head of the NAGP. So who better than a corrupt lobbyist from a corrupt fake doctors union, from a corrupt political party to oversee standards in public office and investigate Leo Varadkar's leak? And Varadkar survived the motion of no confidence this week with Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and the Greens and many independents like Michael Lowry uniting to give a vote of confidence in Leo Varadkar despite the fact that he leaked a confidential IMO contract to his good friend Matt O'Toole. The arrogance of these people, Seamus Wolfe refusing to resign from the Supreme Court after going to the Golfgate dinner or Phil Hogan, how long did it take him to step down? Or Leo Varadkar laughing at people if a worker in the health service leaked a confidential contract, they would be fired on the spot. So it's one rule for a nurse or a health worker and another rule for Leo Varadkar. But this golden circle insiders club looking after the old boy's shit has gone on for decades. I mean look there's a few individuals like Larry Goodman. There was a map of the golden circle done after the last crash and it showed that only 39 rich people, just 39 of them held 93 seats on 30 of the biggest companies in the country. They also had 398 directorships in loads of other companies. That's 39 people with 491 seats between them. They all sit on the boards of dozens of companies, both private and public. These are the people that control this country. Not the politicians, the politicians just do their bidding. Reminds me of something James Connolly once said. Yes, friends, governments in capitalist society are but committees of the rich to manage the affairs of the capitalist class. Ordinary working class people elect a government thinking that they're supposed to work for the taxpayer. But they don't. As James Connolly said, every government is just a little committee that's there to figure out how to please their masters, the rich. And you see, I'd love to see a left government in Ireland. But the 39 people who could control the boards of all the companies in this country will put a leash around any government but James Connolly knew the way out, and that was through people power. The only way to break the golden circle is through mass strikes and protests of working class people. And with the Covid crisis forcing people to stay at home, the government might be getting complacent and think we're not angry with them. But we are, and that anger is building and building. And as soon as this virus is out of the way, just wait till they see the amount of people that takes to the streets.